Kamute po si Ma'am. A pleasant evening to all our supporters, viewers, and our subscribers in our YouTube channel. Musicians, teachers, ladies, and gentlemen, welcome to our Pasambap webinar. What do you think when you hear marching band? Marching band is challenging, more so than people think it is. Marching band is often portrayed incorrectly on TV shows and in movies. They are not what most people think they are. Marching band requires dedication, determination, skill, and teamwork. Each person is a part of the entire image figure. So if someone is not in the right spot, it is obvious. On the field, the marching band has to move in many different directions, forward, backward, left, right, and on the diagonals while facing forward. They have to make sure they know what they are doing and trust that everyone else knows what they are doing to avoid colliding and hurting each other. Everyone has to be thinking ahead. They have to pay attention, making sure they are stepping off with the right foot and being aware of their horns, ensuring they are facing the audience. In order for us to learn more about the marching bands, let us sit back and relax as we listen and ask questions on the comment section of our FB page. Thus, we may call on our Pasambap president, Mr. Bombi Costodio, to introduce our guest for tonight. Good evening, friends and uh, co-musicians. Good evening. Uh, thank you very much, Ms. Malivik Makadaeg of St. Louis University in Baguio. Uh, Welcome na naman po sa isa na namang uh, webinar ng Pambansang Samahan ng Mga Banda sa Pilipinas. We are now on our uh, 34th online workshop. And in this workshop, we have uh, created another series, which is the Philippine Marching Band Series. And, and to open this series will be the Digo City National High School Marching Band with Professor Melvin Anthony Sabio. Okay, so um, the Digos National High School Marching Band has uh, been awarded or has won a lot of um, competitions and, and uh, they are placed mostly as champion of various competitions all around the Philippines. As you can see here that um, he was a national champion in Musico Bacod Festival, a national marching show band competition at Pacor Cavite, a uh, national champion again in the National Festival of Talents in 2014, song composition contest at Olongapo City, and a national finalist of national music competition for young artists, uh, youth symphonic band category at the Cultural Center of the Philippines, national champion uh, 2017 Musicans Satagum, Color Guards category. First runner up 2017 Drumline Competition Musicans Satagum. First runner up Musicans Satagum Symphonic Band category in Tagum City. Second runner up Musicans Satagum um, Marching Show Band Competition in Tagum City also. Grand Slam Champion South Arrow Nang Davao del Sur. I think that's uh, South 50th. Aron and Davao del Sur marching band competition. Sorry for the typo errors. And um, Digos City National High School marching band is a uh, house or um, is in residence at Davao del Sur in Digos City. And, and this has been the center of marching bands since the development of Digos City National High School marching band. And responsible for this is none other than Professor Melvin Anthony Sabio, a professor, conductor, composer, arranger, and believe it or not, a visual artist. Napakagaling niyang magdrawing at magpainting. A graduate of Bachelor of Science in Education, major in Music, Arts, and Physical Education at Koliesu College, Dico City. A graduate of Master in Arts in Teaching, major in Music Education at Southwestern University, Cebu City. Master Teacher 1 of Digos City National High School, Band Director and Band Master of Digos 
City National High School Marching Band. More importantly, Melvin Sabio is the one in charge of D Digo City National High School Marching Band. And there's no better way to introduce the band and Melvin than to watch this excerpt video of um, Digo City National High School Marching Band in performance. There you are, folks. Um, just a few of the award-winning performances of Digos City National High School Marching Band. And uh, tonight, we will uh, learn and listen to what uh, Professor Melvin will share to us, not only the entertainment, the fun side of uh, band music, but also the, the hardships and the sacrifices one has to go through to have a wonderful performance with the wonderful music that we play. So, mga kasama sa musika, atin pong salubungin at uh, anyayahan ang ating guest speaker ngayong gabi na si Professor Melvin Sabio. Professor Melvin, take it away! Hello sir, magandang gabi po sa ating lahat mga kamusiko. Kaya ang ganda naman ng pagka-edit mo, sir. <laughs> Nabigla ako. Kaya kinunan ko ng picture at saka yung mga kuwan. <laughs> um, uh, magandang lahat. Uh, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Uh, siguro, uh, sorry for my Tagalog kasi <laughs> hindi ako masyadong maka kuwan ng makasalita ng Tagalog. Um, maraming salamat po sa paganitong mga series po, yung Philippine Marching Band Series. Uh, at naging una kami sa inyong mga panauhin na makapagbigay ng kaunting mga inputs about uh, pagtuturo ng marching band. Um, naging masaya po ako sa pagtuturo ng marching band para kasing nakita naman nila ng pasambak at uh, ma talagang marami silang naitulong sa akin. Unang-una, nagturo na ako dati ng marching band since 20, uh, 2003. 
2003 pa yun. Kasi yung pagka-graduate ko ng college dito sa amin, sa Curieso College, is uh, nakapagtura ko ng dalawang taon doon. Then lumipat ako sa public school, which is uh, the Digo City National High School uh, Marching Band. Sa umpisa pa lang is talagang struggle kasi um, unang-una is yung pag nasa public school ka, wala talagang instrumento, hindi kumplito yung mga instrumento. So ang ginawa ko, yung mga dating kasamahan ko na nagtutu na, na hindi na nag, nag tumutugtog, so pinuntahan ko sila. Uh, inaya ko ng kanilang mga instrument na pahiramin ako para makapag-start kami ng aking uh, mga estudyante. So, nag-open naman yung special program in the arts pero ang na-open lang noon is um, some instruments is only yung rundalia. So, ako na nagtuturo ng rundalia. So, every year, Pinapakiusapan ko yon sa aking principal, sa SPA coordinator namin na uh, siguro mag-open tayo nung kuan, marching band kasi uh, pwede, pwede, rin, pwede rin naman akong makapagturo nung marching band. Pwede naman kahit na mag, nung parang ikaan lang bas every other day magturo ako ng rundalya then the other day is yung marching band. Ganun kasi Pareho ko yung gustong magturo ng ganun sa instruments. Then talaga, ang gusto ko naman talaga is yung marching band. So na ganun, pumayag naman yung principal namin. So binigyan kami ng budget, counting budget. Umpisa lang noon is binigyan ako ng mga 